Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today we're going to use SketchUp to make a chair. So let's get cracking. Friends, the first step, of course, is to check the link in the description to get to the app. If you see the screen, make sure you choose Sign In with Google. Today we're going to hit the down arrow, and we are going to create with centimeters, just because it's something different. Once again, when the dude shows up, we're going to hit Delete. We're going to click where it says Untitled, choose SketchUp, and we're going to name it Chair. I also like to always put my initials after it, so I'm going to type that and hit Save here. Friends, the first step is to hit R for Rectangle. Click the origin and let go, and then we're going to type 6, 6 for how many centimeters our little rectangle is for a leg. We're going to zoom in. You can roll the scroll wheel, or you can hit Zoom to Extents. Once you get there, we are going to lift this chair leg up, P for Push Pull, and I want you to type 40 and press Enter. We can't see it all, so once again, I'm going to just hit Fit and boom, there you can see your whole chair leg. Now this part's super important. Press the space bar, grab it all, right click on the blue or the dotted shapes. If you right click out here, it cancels it out. I saw that a lot with students last week. Right click on it and we're gonna make it a component. We make things components when we're gonna use more than one of them. So eventually we'll have four legs. That's why we need this to be a component. Friends, the next piece we're going to make is the seat that we're going to put on our chair. Once again, we'll do it with the rectangle. If you click on the red line or close to the red line, that'll work. We are going to type 30, 30. Remember, you don't have to click anywhere. You just type it and press Enter, and bam, it will be the right size. We're going to double-check those with the dimension tool. Once again, we click the tape measure. We hit the dimensions. When it switches, we can click on the first corner click on the second corner and when you stretch your mouse out you can prove that it's 30 centimeters I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna click and I'm gonna click and click a third time to prove that's 30 centimeters as well once you've done that you can hit E for erase and we're gonna get rid of those we just wanted to make sure we did it right let's do P for push pull click and lift it up and I'm gonna tell you that we want to make it four centimeters high Hit your space bar, so we're on the select tool, and we are gonna triple click this. One, two, three. If they don't all turn blue, do it again. One, two, three, a little bit faster. There you can see it is all selected. We are gonna right click, and we are gonna make it a group. We're only having one seat, so that's why we're choosing group. Friends, we need to press M for move, and we wanna grab this corner here, and when you lift it up, because we grabbed that corner, it'll snap right where the leg is almost instantly. Let's have a little fun with our design real quick. Click on the space bar, click on your seat, and let's press S for scale. Now I'm going to show you this so you can see how it messes things up. If you grab this top handle, it does two directions at once. So I'm going to use undo. If I grab the one in the middle, it only stretches my chair wider. So always look for these middle ones when you want to make it in just one direction. I don't care what size you pick, I'm just having fun picking something different, switching to orbit, once again hitting S for scale, and I'm going to stretch it back just a little as well, showing how we can scale things. That's all we're doing. I'm going to go back to O for orbit, and I want to move a copy of this leg. We're going to do that with space bar. Click the leg, and then I want this very corner here to snap to this spot. So when I do M for move, I grab that corner. Notice I let go. If I tap control, it is in copy mode. And when I move close to that corner, boom, it immediately moves to that spot when I click and set it down. Let's make our life even better by doing two at once. I'm going to grab from the right to the left. Make sure you grab those two you'll notice they both turn blue and we want to put this corner back here m for move click notice i'm letting go if i tap control it's a copy and when i move to that edge bam we have just made the legs on our chair how sweet is that let's hit space bar and let's use our seat as the back of our chair as well what we're going to do is move it and when we lift it up I'm going to tap control and I'm going to just set it right on top. Let's do this really fancy with scale and we're just going to push it back 
to where we think the back of the chair should start. I'll let you pick. And then I'm gonna hit over orbit so we can see this better. Once again, I'm gonna hit S for scale. And we want this middle one to raise our chair to whatever height we think it should be. Friends, just like that, we made a fun chair. I wanna round off these edges. We're gonna do that just like this. We're gonna hit space bar and we're gonna double click to edit that shape. Let's come over here to the two point arc. And we are gonna move down this edge a little. I'll let you pick how far. We're gonna click straight across. And then we're gonna move up and click the top. Once you have done that, friends, I'm gonna hit O for orbit because I wanna see it a little bit from the above. I want that back corner visible. And we do P for push pull. We can just push it back and just make sure we take the red arrow and touch the back edge. When you hit your space bar and click somewhere else, it makes it permanent. At this point, let's hit save so we don't lose what we've done. And I'm gonna go to the materials and let's paint this really quick. I'm gonna just use the fun colors today right here. I'm gonna do a blue and I'm gonna do a gray. And then I really want you to understand this. Double click your component, then triple click that leg. I want my legs to be made of wood. So I'm gonna click on the browse materials. I'm gonna move all the way to the bottom and find the different woods. And I'm gonna pick one that I think is neat. And when I paint that one spot, it does all the legs at once. Space bar, click out here to cancel it. Hit O to orbit and friends, check out your amazing, super simple chair. Don't forget to hit save friends. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, maybe even hit that share button so more people can find out about SketchUp Made Simple. If you've got a question or a comment, make sure you add it below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you wanna be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.